What's up, everyone? Hope you guys had an amazing day today. I'm sure um, if you're following the stream, you definitely did. <laughs> so uh, this is basically chart of the spy. Let's just get right into it. So essentially, we're trading at the upper level of this uh, rising wedge pattern, right? Technically, we should be bouncing and falling a bit lower. We should most likely come back and retest around 390 to 392. And another reason why I think that we should be falling and basically bouncing off of this upper trend line as we have, um, we failed to cross above it. The main reason is the dollar is very, very overextended to the downside now. And you can see that the dollar is basically opened and closed outside of the lower level of the Bollinger Band. And we know that when that happens, there is a very high likelihood that um, it wants to return back inside, right? So if the dollar ends up getting a bounce tomorrow, basically if the dollar is showing strength then the stock market should be falling so that is the main assessment why i think the spy should be falling because the dollar should be showing some strength plus given the fact that the spy is at this upper trend line here and really i mean that's uh pretty much all we were, <laughs> that's really all we need to look at to be honest i mean there's nothing else we could drag the video on like needlessly to be honest but um aside from that i started to scale into a bit of um long-term veto calls for 2025 and i think you know the longer term view of bitcoin yeah we could hit, hit uh 10 to thirteen thousand dollars, right but if everyone is basically calling for that as a bottom right it, <sighs> the risk reward to the downside is it's you know it's worth taking along that's basically it so yeah i mean we basically just have to see what the market does overall you know scalping wise we're still making a bunch of money regardless of whether the market goes up or down that doesn't really matter but my overall view right is we should be falling a bit lower tomorrow and hopefully that doesn't happen all during uh the pre-market so that you know it's going to be a bit more difficult to trade, but I'm hoping that we end up opening flat so that we can have a bearish bias intraday. But overall, you know, clearly this is very, very strong. We're showing a lot of strength. Anything above 393 is very bullish. And then, you know, we could end up bouncing even at 390. So yeah, aside from that, there's not really much to look at. Um, Amazon cut a lot of its employees. That caused the stock to jump. Um, yeah aside from that there's nothing else to look at i hope you guys had an amazing day uh make sure to like comment subscribe do all that good stuff and i will see you guys tomorrow thank you